Thanks, but no thanks. You're uninvited. Not much hope for the early release of uh, detained American Kenneth Bay in North Korea, as Pyongyang has now canceled the trip of a U.S. envoy. Sherry, you and I were talking about this last week. Robert King was supposed to go to try to bring Ken back to the USA, but now they're saying, no, don't come. Don't call us. We'll call you. What a rude host. Well, on the surface, uh, North Korea says it's because of Washington bringing in uh, its uh, nuclear-powered B-52 bombers to the South Korea-U.S. joint military drills. But um, apparently, a number of North Korea observers say that this might have come because Washington uh, highlighted in the lead-up to this uh, Potent, well, the planned visit that this visit or the potential release of the American detainee is not going to automatically mean talks between Pyongyang and Washington when North Korea has been calling for talks like that in recent months. So again, detention of an American and hints of a release and retraction of that possibility all working here as its bargaining chip to get what it wants. Bernie? This just seems to show the uh, skittishness and the unpredictability of the DPRK regime. Just when you think they're coming back to the fold and being reasonable and being civil again, uh, Sherry, they can pull stunts like this and uh, find all kinds of reasons, you know, military maneuvers or whatnot as to uh, why not to, to engage. Now, Sherry, I have to tell you our next story here, and it is a, uh, an unrelated story, but still pertaining to the DPRK. When I w read through it, I mean, my eyes almost popped out of their sockets because of the sheer unbelievability of the stuff that was inside. And I was thinking, this has got to be the script of some sick uh, script writer in Hollywood making a sequel to Team America, which uh, was a spoof on America's relationship with North Korea. But apparently it's true, or we don't know if it's true, but Kim Jong-un's ex-girlfriend reportedly executed, machine-gunned, because she made pornography? You can't make this stuff, stuff up, Sherry. Listen here, you got to be careful with who you date in North Korea, especially when you're dating um, the regime's leader. But it's not because of some bad breakup, Bernie. A lot of uh, dramatic uh, elements in this story. Uh, the alleged crime here was violating laws banning pornography. But some uh, South Korean uh, dailies uh, here, Chosun Able, for example, is reporting that some of those who were executed actually had Bibles with them when they were arrested. So a possible Possibility of North Korea denouncing religious freedom and back to their love story they were actually forced to break up because of his father but then uh, Cho San Ibo again reports that the two are believed to have continued seeing each other even after her marriage with some other man so it could be pornography or a violation of religious freedom or a jealousy wife Bernie yeah Apparently, uh, Kim's wife, Ri Sol Ju, was a member of the same group, the same orchestra before marriage exactly. and didn't like the former girlfriend. Oh, dear. Man, talk about dark and dank script writing. Thanks, Sherry. Wow. I think I need to get back to some semblance of markets and see how the market's reacting to the China PMI uh, numbers. The official one was more impressive, wasn't it, at 51 versus 50.1? But no harm, anyway. Shanghai's down, though. Go figure. You'd think if there's one market that would go yip, yip, hip, hooray, it'd be that one. Thanks for watching the call. Where I have cash flow next.